everyone and welcome to Fistful of Feminism. My name is Monica and today we're going to talk about whitewashing with my beautiful new shirt. What is whitewashing? Whitewashing is the deliberate casting of white actors in roles written for or traditionally played by POC actors, so people of color, under the guise of appealing to a greater white audience. Whitewashing is particularly rampant for traditionally Asian roles and characters, which silences and erases Asian POC actors in the industry. Whitewashing can also be the deliberate exclusion of POC voices, opinions, characters in different forms of media with the intent of trying to cater to exclusively white audiences. So if you've ever heard the term that diversity just doesn't sell, that we need to appeal to a wide audience in order to make money, that's whitewashing. What are some examples of some films that have been whitewashed? Let's start with my shirt, Ghost in the Shell, which completely flopped at the box office, which had Scarlett Johansson playing an Asian role. Aloha, featuring Emma Stone, where she played a half Asian, half Hawaiian actor, which makes literally no sense. And this is actually something that happens a lot where the under the guise of mixed or biracial persons that a white person is casted in that role, which is not okay. It's not the same as casting a biracial or mixed person in a role. It's just a way to make whitewashing okay. And it's not okay. Tilda Swinton in Doctor Strange. Uh, Doctor Strange was wrong for a lot of reasons. Tilda Swinton was a character uh, created from the wise one or the ancient one uh, and Tilda Swinton was a white woman taking on a traditionally Asian role. Not okay. Matt Damon in The Great Wall, a movie about the Great Wall of China centering a white man. And if you've heard anything about the hashtag Make Mulan Right movement on Twitter, they were trying to whitewash Mulan and put a white savior into the film. Not okay. Now that I've given you some clear examples, let's talk about why whitewashing is incredibly harmful. Whitewashing makes us feel as if we don't matter, as if our stories are not our own. And it makes us feel as if, especially Asian actors, are not capable to tell our own stories. I've heard a lot of people say that a lot of stories are super problematic in the way that Asian folks are represented and that white women especially coming in to change those roles and make it about gender is somehow better. Let me tell you from someone who is directly affected by whitewashing, especially with the complexities of being a biracial mixed person, that is not okay. I'm an actor and the fact that I have only once ever gotten to play a Filipina character, which is who I am, is unbelievable. And for me, for a lot of my acting career, not all of it, but for some times, I've been able to pass and play characters that are British or white or seen as white. Or the casting was colorblind and didn't matter. Basically what I'm saying is that I have different privileges coming at this, but I have been passed up for a lot of roles because I'm ethnically ambiguous. Because people can't figure out what I am. And because they can't figure out what I am, based on this idea that all people in one category of like Filipino or Asian look a certain way, I've been turned down for roles. So it's extremely harmful. Whitewashing is something that happens so much in Hollywood, but also happens in theaters and all other forms of media. In the same token of letting us tell our own stories, it's not for you. Some stories are not made for white folks to play. A lot of stories aren't. And no matter how much you change the story or try to make it a somehow universal, there is no universality in being white. The only universality there is with being white is that your privilege allows you to navigate the world in such a safer way than it does for POC folks. If you want to create an Asian story with roles that are traditionally with Asian actors, hire us. Hire Asian actors and more specifically hire people that are actually part of the culture in which you want to tell the story. We live in a world where Asian actors literally have to grab every role that they can and there are so many actors who 
are, let's say, Korean who are playing a Chinese role or are Chinese and playing a Japanese role. They're not the same thing, but we don't live in a world in which we can survive and live without participating in some of this messed up system of whitewashing. Until we get there, we kind of have to take the roles we can get, and that feels super messed up. The last reason why you shouldn't participate in whitewashing is because it's obviously racist as fuck. Sometimes people have this idea that because of the legacy of the model minority for Asian folks, that there is no way to be racist towards Asian folks. Let me tell you that that is not the damn case. I wanna be able to tell the stories of my culture and my people, but I never have the opportunity to do that. So, of course, what do I do is I make my own media, but not everybody is in that position. The myth that diversity doesn't sell has been disproven time and time again. So, while we are all out here combating whitewashing, what you can do is never see a movie that participates in whitewashing. Any of these movies, please don't give money to them. Don't go see art that is taking away the voices and money from POC actors. Please, please, please use your money wisely and demand that stories that aren't for white folks don't end up in the hands of white folks. My stories are just as valuable as stories from white actors. And Scarlett Johansson's ideas of being so revolutionary that she can make a story about gender rather than race and unite people based on the fact that she's a woman is so incredibly white feminist, I cannot even believe it. People like Scarlett Johansson, people like Emma Stone, these people don't get it and they're not willing to be called out on it. All of these people on my shirt have declared that there was no problem with them taking a role that isn't for them. To all of the actors that I know out there, if you're a white actor and you're asked to take a role that was traditionally filled for a person of color, don't take it. And there are no ifs, ands, or buts about this. Do not take the role. You have so much privilege and so much opportunity to take work that matters. Do not take away work from people of color. <sighs> that was close to my heart. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. This is obviously a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while and I've been pretty mad about. So let's keep the conversation going. Let me know about some films that you've seen that have been whitewashed and what you think about POC actors not getting to tell our own stories. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you like, you can subscribe and go there and da 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 da. And I'll see you all not next Friday, but the Friday after that. Thank you everyone, salamat po, and see you soon. Bye!